This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. What's up YouTube, Raheem the Rabbit here, back at it again with another quick reaction video and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. At this time I ask you to please smash that like button, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. So today we have a nice video for you, so let me minimize myself. And let me blow this guy up here. And we will be reacting to this video in three, two, one. All right, so this is something that stays on my mind, so I'm ranting. I hate when I hear women say, I don't need a man, but then portray actions completely contradictory to that. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? Yeah, we're going right in on this one. And uh, shout out to this young lady right here. Uh, I think her name is Olivia. Um... I find it very funny, very comical that the super duper feminist uh, out here on the dating market with their ridiculous talking points to say, you know, oh, we I'm strong and I'm independent and I don't need no man, etc., etc. Like I said, I find it very rich. It's very rich to say this because we live in a first world. We have first world problems where we don't live in a third world country. Uh, we're not under attack. You can go outside uh, in the middle of the afternoon and get your Starbucks. You don't have to worry about being uh, shot or bombed or, you know, taken behind an alley and being uh, taken advantage of. You know, it's pretty much safe to walk outside because we live in a first world country and because men have civilized the world. All in favor, raise your hand. So if men didn't civilize the world that we live in, if men did not build the infrastructure that we live in, we wouldn't have a civilized world. So I think for modern women to say that they don't need men like they're strong and they can do without us, I think is just purely, utterly ridiculous. You stupid. Don't say you don't need a man and then turn around and do things to try to get the attention of the same men you just said you don't need. See, one of my pet peeves in life is attention whores. I hate it with a passion when I see someone doing something solely for attention because that's a major character flaw. Woo, hot slugs. Oh no, he didn't. Miss you heard what she said. She said, y'all are attention. A-W-H-O-R-E-S. I'm not going to say the word out loud, but you heard it from her. And this is a woman that is checking y'all. I'm not saying this. I just happened to catch this video and I'm going to react to it. But again, she is a woman and she is speaking on y'all modern women. Y'all are out here acting crazy. And it's about time that someone checks y'all. Oh no, he didn't, Miss Pigeon. And it says a lot about that person. You can't say you don't need a man and then post thirst trap pictures for them. Woo! Hold on. Let's hear that again. Let the church say amen. All in favor, raise your hand. Because that's a major character flaw. And it says a lot about that person. 
You can't say you don't need a man and then post thirst trap pictures for them. Damn it. This chick is cooking with hot fish grease right now. Ooh, ooh, we. Yes, ladies, you can't say that you don't need men and then post thirst traps on Instagram, Facebook, etc., etc., or OnlyFans, depending on how racy your page is, for the attention of men. Again, this is utterly retarded. You stupid. You can't say you don't need a man, but constantly seek validation from them. You can't say you don't need a man, but then always compete with other women for them. You can't say you don't need a man when most of y'all build your entire self-esteem and self-worth off of how many men acknowledge you. Every single social media platform, that's your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, originally started out as authentic platforms for genuine connections and fun. All in favor, raise your hand. I can definitely attest to that as, you know, when the birth of the internet came out and then we had the original uh, social media platform, which was uh, MySpace. And then after MySpace came and went, then we had Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, etc., etc., YouTube and all this other good stuff. But it appears from the outside looking in. No matter if you are an Instagram model or a Victoria's Secret model, swimsuit model, video vixen, etc., etc., it seems like most women, even if that is not part of their profession, they still crave the attention from men. So they go out of their way to post sexy pictures because they get this dopamine fix. From all the likes, the clicks, the DMs, etc., etc. And if you say otherwise, you're lying. All in favor, raise your hand. The low self esteem women decided to use it to put themselves on display as advertisements for the attention of men. All while doing this under the guise of self liberation. That's a cop out for wanting to do what you want to do without the repercussions and backlash of it. Because if you attach a movement to it, then it makes it more justifiable. Man, listen, and shout out to this uh, young lady, Miss uh, Olivia. She she was out here cooking with some hot fish grease. Man, she was cooking. <laughs> she was definitely cooking. Again, this is a short uh, reaction video, but again, I want to ask I want to ask a serious question. Um, and this is actually my part three of this. Um, are modern women? Or do modern women have a toxic relationship? with the internet and again my premise I'm, I'm coming at it from an angle because i'm part of generation x i'm a part of the generation that was here before the internet so again i've noticed the change in behavioral patterns from just your average uh nine to five working class woman you know what i mean uh again if you are in the industry, you're an entertainer, you're an artist, you're, you know, you're creative. Uh, this conversation is not for you because you guys are constantly in front of the camera. You got makeup artists, etc., etc. That That is part of your lifestyle. So again, don't get this uh, conversation confused. But if you fall into the category of just a regular nine to five person, you're not a stripper, you're not on OnlyFans, you're not a video vixen, etc., etc. Just a regular working blue or white collar uh, working class woman. Um, really, what what is the fascination with showing off your body and your nether regions <laughs> to the extent of these crazy angles like Drake? Hit him with the angles. Uh, what What is the fascination again? Uh, with showing off your body. Do, do you have a toxic relationship with the internet? Because if the internet wasn't a thing, what would you be doing to actually garner the attention of men? It's worth worth a, a ponder, like, you know what I mean? Things that make you go, hmm. And with that being said, this is the end of this reaction video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the way out. Also hit the like button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. And I will definitely see you guys on the next episode of The Rabbit Hole. Peace. Everybody be safe. Peace.
should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area.